mind-boggling. So frustrating that there just doesn't seem to be one obvious problem or one obvious solution. Um, no, we got to figure it out, you know, especially when we have a lead because we got to understand team's not going to lay down. Team's just not going to come out in the second half and, you know, just give us a, another 10, 15-point lead on top of our, our lead. So, I don't know. We, we got to figure it out, understand, you know, we got, we got to stop getting hit with punches, you know, coming out that second half. <laughs> was it what? No, no, it was pretty loud. Not repeatable, I think. Some words. Some words yeah. Find out on open gym? No, he told me to turn the camera off. <laughs> Tomorrow, where are you guys at right now? After going on like 20 games and going on the floor? <laughs> Got a long way to go. You know, we, we, we show spurts of it. You know, we show quarters of it. We, you know, I think now we got to put consistency in the play with that. You know, um, and as soon as we do that, you know, it's good to have the mistakes that we made thus far in the season. But now we got to understand, you know, next 25, let's tighten up on the things we wasn't good at from the, from the first 25 and build on top of that, you know, and keep it going, you know, because before you know it, you know, you're going to look up. We're going to be talking about 60 some games, 70 games, and next thing you know, we a couple of weeks in playoffs. So, you know, we got to understand every single practice and every single day, film session, game is, is a learning lesson that we could build from. How encouraging are you, Brad, that the start you guys have had on home court this season, despite whatever else is going on, 7 on 1? It's big. We always preach protecting home court. You know, it's always been our comfort zone when we come back home with our fans and everything. You know, um, it's always been big for us, you know, um, and I think, you know, we, we just got to take care of things on the, on, on the road a little bit better. And as long as we still do what we're supposed to do at home, we'll be in good shape. Career high eight threes for Kyle. What's it like as a teammate when a guy is on a roll like that? I mean, it's great. You know, I want to keep shooting. You know, he, he shoots it so effort, effortlessly. And, you know, it's great when, it, when, when, you, when you see him get it off the way he do when he's shooting it. And, um, you know, Another Cal night. Another career night tonight with Fred and nine assists. Um, just what do you think of what he has, the role he has played for you guys off the bench, especially with DeLon being? Uh, Fred, one of the toughest guys on his team. You know, you wouldn't even think the way he carried himself, the way he played, his poise, everything about him, you wouldn't think he's a second, second year guy. You know, he's, he's one of the toughest guys on his team. And, you know, you got to love that. Whenever you put him in any type of situation, he, he thrives in it. And he's looking for it. And, you know, you see it tonight. He had nine. You and Kyle both had six assists. Is it just becoming easier for you guys as the game go on to playing just pass, extra passes? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and it's great. You know, everybody get a feel for the ball. Everybody understands rotations. And we continue to get better with it. And, as long as we still do that, and you know we have nights where you know Cal hitting eight threes and other guys making shots, you know make make makes it a lot easier.